Hello friends, welcome back to another very short video tutorials on enzyme kinetics. Today we shall be talking about ping pong mechanism, a non-sequential reaction in enzyme kinetics. So let's start. Take one color so that we can draw. A ping pong mechanism in enzyme kinetics when a substrate interact with a particular enzyme is a non-sequential mechanism. A product is released after the first substrate is connected or bound one and a product is seen before the second substrate is bound. So the two binding of the first substrate cause the enzyme to change into intermediate form due to the conformational changes or maybe addition to any group that will bind to the second substrate. Case one, we'll try to understand what is not a ping pong mechanism. The first case is an example that is a sequential reactions and that is not a ping pong mechanism. So if we understand what is not a ping pong mechanism, it will be easy for us. What is it? Case one, you see NADH cofactor is binding with the active site of an enzyme. Say this is an enzyme given by a curve. So coenzyme say it is connecting to the active site. Coenzyme is NADH. Now what will happen? There is another substrate that is pyruvate you can see here and that is also going to the pocket active site and NADH is also present. Now here pyruvate and NADH both are connected, both are present, present in the particular pocket here. So now it is not a product is released after the first substrate is bound. So both of them are present together. So it is a sequential reaction and then lactate, lactate this product is released and finally NAD plus is released. So it is not a ping pong mechanism as per the definition. Then what is it? For example, you take one example. For example, there is an enzyme and it is interacting with a substrate A. Now after the substrate, when it binds with E, it will make some change in the conformation or modifying the enzyme. So after that, it will be converted to E star. It is a modified enzyme. It may be due to the addition of any group. Now this A substrate will be produced as a product. Now as per the definition you can see products is released just before the binding of the second substrate. So B is the second substrate. Now when it will bind, now only this E star state is able to interact with the B. So this is how E star B will be formed an intermediate transient molecule and finally Q will be produced. Is it a ping pong? Yes. Here is an example illustration how a particular substrate activate a particular enzyme. So this red one is a substrate A and it has a green a group, any kind of group. It may be phosphate group, any other group. So upon transferring this particular group to the enzyme, this now uh, activate the enzyme in E star state. Now after activation, this enzyme is now eligible to bind with the substrate B. Is it an example of ping pong mechanism? Yes. The classic example they give example of pyruvate carboxylase. If you take pyruvate carboxylase, it is an enzyme and it has a substrate say A that is carbon dioxide. Now when carbon dioxide bind with this enzyme, it get activated and move into E star state that is known as a carboxybiotin. Now again, this will form a product that is the pyruvate. Now E star again eligible to bind with the pyruvate and get modified or you can say the product is being modified as a another product that is OA. So here the product is pyruvate from the first one and it is also acting as a substrate. So you can say this molecule is another substrate B. So A is one substrate, B is a different substrate. So by that path, you can see A is converted to another product and you can only see product is found before the second substrate is bind here. So you can see product is produced before the second substrate is connecting to the enzyme because before that enzyme is not eligible to bind or interact with the second substrate. So both of the substrate cannot interact. Now finally, you get the new product that is the oxaloacetate. This is how the ping pong mechanism function. Thanks for watching.